Hello my lovely, lovely viewers, I'm your host Supertainment and today I bring you episode, hmm, what episode? Episode 4 of Seahawks Franchise or Pete Carroll Connected Careers. As I've told you before, this is a continuing effort to make my Seahawks, well not my Seahawks, but Seattle's Seahawks, uh, a better team. As you guys know, I'm a Dolphins fan, but... I'm into this too. So let's get to the action and let me stop rambling. Uh, actually, let's take a look at the news center because it turns out that Ross Tucker and Adam Schefter both think they have the inside track on Marcus Trufant, assuming that he's going to get traded somewhere. And I, I can't say I agree with them because the offers I've been getting aren't very good. But uh, if I'm not mistaken here, mm, there's someone here. Yes, no, six sacks for the Eagles. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. But, um, very interesting stuff. Mod Bradshaw wants the rest of the NFL to know that he's not taking any snaps off this year. Well, good for him. Let's move over to what really matters. Why don't we? We have trade offers for Marcus Trufant yet again. And let's take a look at it. Let's go ahead and select the offer and see if there's anything good. Fourth round, seventh round, no thank you. Fourth round, no. Fourth round, sixth round, seventh round, no. Fourth round, no, 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 no. See, I want something at least in the third round form. If I can get a third round and then a six, seven, I'd be happy with it. And I, I'd be blown apart with him. I really would. So, um, you know, let's go ahead and decline that trade. And, oh, it is cut day. Oh, that is a very scary situation here. And we have to cut four players. And do we have to do it before practice? Or can we do it after practice? Not that practice matters much, but let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and cut some players here. Some that may not be progressing as well. And yeah, sure, let's cut Marshawn Lynch. No. Let's take a look. We have we we need him. We need Josh Portis, so Always need a third quarterback. Do we? Do we always need a third quarterback? Is that really the case? Well, he's a 64 overall. He could be worse. So, uh, we got one fullback. We got plenty of wide receivers. I know who I'm keeping. I'm keeping Ricardo Lockett. Because if this guy, if this guy can really progress, I'm, I'm quite interested in seeing what he can do. But as far as these two right here, uh, see, I'm going to have to go with, Man, I don't even know. Production grade. Why is he a three? That makes no sense. He's better than a three. Let's see. Let's take a look at the speed here. We don't need any slow guys. Speed rating. Wow, Ricardo Lockett's a 96 in speed. I did not know that. That is sickening. Wow. Okay, uh, we're going to need to cut one of these guys, though. And, unfortunately, it's going to have to be you, Mr. West Texas A&M. I, I assume that's ugh. gonna go ahead and cut you buddy sorry proud that you made it to the team though oh whoo -hoo. we have quite a few tight ends and yeah we're gonna go ahead and cut Clint Gresham sorry Clint you uh you are just not you are not in the uh, the roster here and I assume we're gonna end up cutting at least one or two more by the end of uh, preseason here we always need a backup uh, blind side. We got we got backups for all these guys. Oh. Okay. I'll let I'll let Rashawn Johnson go ahead and play out his time. See what he can do. See if he can earn that third spot. Left end. Greg Scrooge is he's a rookie. I'll keep him. I'll keep him. When was he drafted? Does it say? No. No no it doesn't say when he drafted. So it is what it is. Um Where are we at here? Oh, DT. DT. We always need an extra DT. But, mm, yeah, I'm just not seeing it. He isn't physical. Intangible grade is 50. Size is it's better than Donald, but uh, production grade, not there. Strength rate, you know, I'm going to keep him on. I'm going to keep him on just so we can see how he does. But this guy, Matt McCoy, no, you're not here. I saw you play, and you're not good at all. You're off the team. Uh, right outside linebacker. No, we're not touching that yet. 
cornerbacks. We have more than enough here. And Thurmond and Gore. Let's take a look at the zone coverage and man coverage. Well, the production grade. He's made some production here. He's better in zone. Better... Better in man, better in zone. Okay, Walter Thurman, you might have a spot here. Play recognition is horrible, though. As well as press coverage. Pursuit is meh. Block shedding. Tackling is a 54. Okay. Hit power, not very good. Jumping, he can jump. I'll give him that. Catching, not a big speed. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and cut Danny Gore. Sorry, Danny. And that leaves us one more person to cut, and I don't know who that's going to be. You got Earl Thomas. Obviously, we're not going to cut him. Quite a good guy. Winston guy. Hmm. Uh, we don't really need you, Winston. But, let me see. Yeah, we don't need you, Winston. Sorry, man. Okay, and this game... Okay, so this game, after we've made all of our cuts now, I think we're good. Yes, we are. We are good. Um, I'm thinking that, depending on how this practice goes, I'm going to pick the hardest practice, by the way. I just want to I want to pick the hardest one. Uh, 35 to 3 in the third quarter, and you just... Okay, I'm going to go for this one, and um, I will let you guys know what I'm thinking about after this practice. So I will see you guys in practice. And here we are at practice, and right off the bat, Mr. Russell Wilson throws an interception. Oh, I gotta tell you, these practice squad guys are really good. I, 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 I think I'm playing the developer team right now, because they're just monstrous. Number 21, no surprise, takes it in. 42-3 score, and Russell Wilson just cannot catch a break against these all-stars. And another interception. And I can almost guarantee you that, um... That they're gonna they're gonna pay off with another touchdown because 21, I mean untackleable, just untackleable. I mean I think that's Barry Sanders, but hey, who knows? We might have a chance. 49 to three, might have a chance. Braylon Edwards makes a catch, gets a touchdown, makes it 49 to 10. We could do it, right? We got the ball back. We have, we have some time. Ooh, but that interception ends it. Welcome back, guys, and um, so. That was a very bad practice, and I should probably choose to do some of the easier practices in the future. But you live, you learn, let's move on. Anyway, so like I was saying before the practice, I do have a bit of a surprise for you guys. And that is, I will be changing the depth chart a tad bit. And it's only for this game. For this game only. As you can see, I've made Matt Flynn the starting quarterback. For this game only, because I want to see how he's going to do with the first stringers, and I've also put Rod, I was going to say Ronnie, Ricardo Lockett in at the third position, ahead of Braylon Edwards and Doug Baldwin. So this is a very big move, but hopefully it'll pay off in the end, and we'll see how they play. Obviously, I still want Russell Wilson to be my starter. I'm not looking to ditch him. It's just something that I think needs to be done. Uh, if we're going to go ahead and uh, play the season. So let's go ahead and get to the preseason game, who is going to be... No, I don't want to quit. The Kansas City Chiefs. Look at that. 2-0 record. Ninth ranked offense? Wow, and we're bad. We're the 32nd ranked offense, but the first ranked defense. Interesting, don't you think? So uh, let's go ahead and get to this game, and I will see you guys on the other side. Welcome back to the other side, guys, here at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. You. Here we are, getting ready to play these Chiefs, who aren't very good, but, you know, they could be very surprising at times, and really, Phil Sims, why, why are you in this game? I don't get it. Just leave. You're bad. You're horrible. Chiefs get the ball first, which means we're going to have very limited time with our starting quarterback. Let's get to it. First and 10, Jamal Charles gets a handoff, and he goes up the middle, side middle, for about 16 yards. And on the next play, oh boy, breaks the tackle. Earl Thomas can't come up with it, and he is gone. Jamal Charles is just, he's a monster, man. Nothing you can do about it. 
So now with the ball, Matt Flynn, second and 11. He's looking, he's looking, and he lofts it up in the air for Golden Tate. He comes up with a huge catch, breaks the tackle, and he almost spins away from danger. 45 yards in the play. And now it's first and 15 after a penalty. And, oh, Sidney Rice comes up with a 20-yard reception. Beautiful. After Marshawn Lynch goes behind on a play, we have Ricardo. Lucy, I'm home. Makes the catch over the middle. I'm going for it on fourth and one. I don't know what I'm thinking. Marshawn Lynch needs some more skills. Albert Hainsworth, still in the league, comes up with the tackle. Seven, nothing still. Brady Quinn's looking deep, and he has a wide open receiver. But he fumbles it, and how many, how many Seahawks? How many Seahawks? And we can't come up with the fumble recovery? Are you kidding me? On the exact next play, Joseph Adai. Are you kidding me? Joseph Adai. I'm going to say this again. Joseph Adai, retired, comes back, and he breaks 400 tackles and gets a touchdown. 14 nothing to score. And now we have our backups in. Robert Turbin comes up with a nice gain on the play. Third and four. Russell Wilson, very clutch pass over to Evan Moore. Down the middle. Another first down. Russell Wilson's looking. He's looking, and he finds Obama Namu Uma Ama. He makes the catch, but he also gets injured on the play. So now it's first and ten. Russell Wilson finds Evan Moore again for nine yards. Give me, give me more. Now it's first and goal. He's looking. He's looking. He's running. He gets tackled and fumbles, and it is their ball. So after two bad fumbles, they're up 14 nothing with the ball. Brady Quinn's looking deep. He has a man open. Oh, so close. That gives us 35 seconds. Try and make something happen. Russell Wilson gets sacked, fumbles again, and now we're going to go for the field goal, but here's the problem. That's our punter. I hate preseason games for that reason alone. Dexter McCluster now has the ball, and he's a very dangerous character. Breaks a tackle. Luckily, he is taken down, and that ends the half. 14-0 to score. Russell Wilson pitches out to Robert Turbin, gets around the corner, gets a little more yardage than expected. And he's pushed out of bounds. Now it's first and ten. Russell Wilson play action. Tosses it over to Evan Moore. Give me, give me more. Three receptions, 36 yards. A pretty good day for him so far. Third and two. Can't find more on the outside there. Yeah. So we have to settle for the field goal. This time John Ryan is able to connect just barely. So the score is 14 to three. And now the third quarter is winding down. Brady Quinn's looking. He's looking and he is, ooh. Almost intercepted, but instead Jamal Charles gets a 10-yard reception. And now it's first and 10, and Joseph Adai. I just don't understand how this happens. Joseph Adai. How? He wasn't even in the league two years ago. Now third and goal. And what is this pass interference call? Are you kidding me? Are These are, are, these are the replacement refs, right? <clears throat> they have to be. Because in, in, in any situation, that's not... Whatever. Joseph Dye gets a touchdown. And now it is 21-3. It's almost a certainty that we're going to lose, but hey, let's play again. Glenn Dorsey gets in for the sack, and Russell Wilson goes down. Now it's 3rd and 18. Got to find something. And Marshawn Lynch makes the beautiful catch over the middle. Two receptions, 35 yards. Not bad. Not bad. 2nd and 10. Russell Wilson's looking. He's looking. He's going deep. And Evan Moore. You dropped the pass, man. What are you doing? Now it's fourth and six, and we're just tossing it deep. Nothing happens there. <clears throat> so we have to make a play, make the stop. But Joseph Adai, I, the ageless Joseph Adai, gets in there and gets the first down. And that is the game. <sighs> the Seahawks have fallen to the Jesus. I can't, I can't even say it. That's how bad it was. To the Kansas City Chiefs. And I, I just, I don't know what to do at this point because that was, that was a rough loss. That was a <coughs> painful loss. And I, I hate to say it, but fat man swag. Romeo Cornell. Fat man swag. I'm, I still haven't come up with anything for Pete Carroll, but I haven't, I haven't had to use it for these past two games. Brady Quinn, wow. Let's look at the stats, though. Russell Wilson had a pretty okay game. Matt Flynn, you know, he wasn't in there long, but he had a perfect completion percentage, whatever. 
Robert Turbin, he is actually turning out to be a very surprising player. And I might have to get him a little more involved. And I don't know, Marshawn Lynch, he's just, he's not my thing. But Evan Moore, besides that drop pass, had a pretty good game. As did Ricardo. Uh, wow. Ricardo. Yeah. Anyway, uh, on defense, we got a sack from Chris Clemens. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. But um, we're just we're, we're doing our thing now. Doing our thing. So now, after that crucial loss, we are um, we're we're a little bit defeated, but we do have some things to finish here. Uh, we have uh, some player progression to do. Oh, by the way, look at that. The XP is uh, climbing there. Uh, we can progress some players here. Oh, the weekly goal. You know, zero interception, same as last week. But uh, we have to... We I'm going to manually do a few of these because, you know, I feel like some of them should be done manually. And he's got quite a bit of XP building up. And uh, I don't know. He's pretty tough. He's a pretty tough guy already. I don't know if I want to... I found want to waste uh, the time on that, so I'm gonna move on here. Michael Robinson, fullback. Eh, I don't expect anything big here, but pass block upgrade. And that's that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade that to 64. That's that's not bad, you know. We need a better fullback, uh, as you can tell from our lack of running success. Doug Baldwin, on the other hand, <clears throat> it's hard to say what I want to do with him because there's there's a few things here. I kind of want to do the route running, but I don't know. I guess release. The release upgrade is something I just, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go with that. A release upgrade, you know, 68 to 69. Go ahead and do that. And then, let's see, what else? Brandon Mabane. 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 <laughs> let's see. Oh, he could definitely, he could definitely use a finesse move. Definitely. He's a pretty slow dude. And, um, I don't know, from here I think I'm just going to go ahead and let the computer do the rest of the progressions. Hopefully they're not going to waste Russell O'Kung's, you know, is what it is though if they do. Oh, Jason Jones. Yeah, Jason Jones. I could, I could let that happen. Let's see. Um, no. Nah. I'm going to save up for the Pursuit upgrade. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, yeah, I'm definitely going to just let the computer... Well, the computer handled from here. I think they've got that on lockdown. Oh, but Matty Flynn. Matty Flynn. Once he gets enough, that'll be a very, very interesting thing. Because, I, I don't know, I feel like Russell Wilson's slowly losing his job. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time. Peace out.